the truth. Can we handle it? No, nah, that's too easy. Yeah, I knew it. I fell. I had to give you a set. Don't fight. You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay positive. I don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Has it for a while? It's the shop. Why is death? No, you you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Mm. It's okay. Just let it go. Go, 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 go. I felt groggy. Whatever heart rate it bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone oh, it's either that or, you know, because you snapped your back on that fucking lake. You know, I mean, I, I've heard, you know, that the trauma to the spine can cause, you know, numbing and paralysis. You know, I'm just saying, Alan. What the hell? Yeah, I see you brought your pen gorilla with you. So sure, I'm coming. I get the message, loud and clear. I'm not crazy. Right, that's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. A little walk? Some fresh air? Uh huh. Yes, it will do you good. This isn't real. Alright, Dr. Hartman. Most of them are here right now. That is your real name? Fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Mm -hmm. I specialize in treating artists. Listen here. I bet you do. Uh, Splendid, Alan. Specialize in treating artists. We under control if we work together. This way, Alan. from past experience with you I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode so I'm just going to say this Alice is dead no you're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this Alice drowned and you couldn't face that you're suffering from hallucinations paranoid delusions Unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Let me go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Mmm. A sundial? Where are we going? You're gonna show me a view? Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? 
Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see near a peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when we arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems oh. there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall them being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Hmm. Maybe because this isn't real. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. Just keep bumping into him. Maybe that'll piss him off or he'll fall or something. His, own voice. his words echoed madly inside my head. I dug my nails into the palms of my hands to stay focused. to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go inside. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. Uh huh. What's up with this guy? Oh. Scary, scary, scary. Oh, yeah. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> You should be afraid of me. You don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Oh, yeah. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on oh. video games. It's trash. Get him. But it does involve some small creative effort. Oh my god. This guy's a fucking kung fu master. We gotta get away before he kills us. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. Uh -huh. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect... Your fellow patients need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Oh my god, long term creative problems, blah 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 blah. My rheumatism is killing me. This oh, that's the squeak I heard. Water store. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. And these two. Are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor? They had a how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are well in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. He's got a sweet hammer. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room. I hope I can be rid of this for the best. Hmm. I'd like to bang his head in with a hammer. No, he loved to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being crazy is 
Oh. That makes sense to me. Oh shit. Piece of paper gave you a rash. Same cathedral bombs taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging from the keys of the time fire. It exhilarated him. But there was fear too. If not for his young assistant Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Mm -hmm. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Damn right. Or with Thermos. Well, he's the boss. I may need a hand here later on, Bird. The storm's bound to make you know who would jump me. You know how they get. Gotcha. Doc's got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get me rallied. I'm right here. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. Uh huh. Or is it a trap? Something's wrong. I'm not myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. Exactly. Oh. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story at once, and the story will come true. Uh oh. Um, all right, so there's a generator there that I'm guessing we're gonna have to power eventually. Because the power is probably going to go out. The one glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Well, stop using shiny paper. Jeez. How many times I got to tell this guy? Hey, wait. You stay here. I'm going to go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Uh huh. Yep. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Yeah, wench. He's <laughs> using me only. <laughs> What a legend. Sinclair looked bad. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's got a real hammer this time. She was one of Hartman's goons. She had it coming. I could get the key to the office I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my men's weapons. That's where he came. I was wondering how she was knocked out for a second. I didn't hear the squeak, so I guess I should have known. Okay, I didn't. Alright, whatever.
was here on business. He raised his voice and cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. With you? No. familiar and there's crow right there there's at least these yep these things there's a map she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call number. It had been a cut up of this. Just a recording. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. Oh, fuck he it. Was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all Barry? Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Man! Glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. Uh, you okay? Why is yeah. there a cutout? No. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me. Oh, a revolver? Sliding back. Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, uh, well, worth a shot. Really, Wade? Let's work together on this. You have no idea. Hardly. Yeah, shut up. Very Who's behind him? I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just go. Wait, listen to me. This is a mistake. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Uh oh. Bye bye. Oh, is that a little sinister grin, Alan? I'm guessing we should probably get out of here. Yeah. Ow! That's right. That hurts. Oh shit. It's coming for me. Oh, not this shit again. How many times I'm getting tired of having inanimate objects thrown at me? All right, fuck it. Okay. Oh! It barely touched me. This is bullshit. Ow. Oh yeah, I have a gun, don't I? Can I shoot it? Oh, well, there goes the ammo. All right, well, we're probably fucked. I don't know. I don't have my flashlight. Or that's gonna kill me. It's 
Is there a flashlight anywhere? Okay, well this is definitely the right way, because this is the only way we can go. Uh, upstairs, possibly? Oh, these. Oh wait, the the gen yeah the generator's upstairs though. Oh yeah, duh. Look at that. Let's go hit the generator. I knew we'd have to do this. There we go. Could use more ammo though. Is there ammo anywhere? Uh oh. Oh shit. Send it. Oh! I forgot how to dodge. Oh! How do I dodge? I don't remember. Let's jump. This? This? I don't remember how to. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, I just wasted the flare. That's uh, uh. Aim, run. I swear it was one of these buttons. Okay, that's that. Oh, gee. Yeah. I knew once I popped that flare, I was fucked. Oh, look, another one. Nice. Okay, just checking. Hartman followed the fall of Alan Wake with his binoculars. When the rider hit the water, he ordered Jack to take the boat to him. The spot was easy to see in the dark, even with all the extra lights in the boat. The flare floated and kept burning, even in the water. Jack turned the radio louder as the engine sputtered. The music was rough and clanking, something the Anderson brothers would no doubt have enjoyed. But Hartman chose to ignore it. Wake was finally within the reach. Aha. Uh -huh. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front. And he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction. To be a loser. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. It's all coming together. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, it's gonna do it again. Uh, it's not open yet. Ah, oh, that's dodge, of course. Ow. Oh, I'm dead. Can't go that way, can't go that way. I don't know how to fucking beat this. I mean, obviously there's some kind of light somewhere, I would assume. Or I need to get it to hit another door somehow. Uh, 
Maybe I needed to come down the hallway and then run past. Them. But then all the doors are shut anyway. so it can't come out of there. At least it doesn't look like it. Oh, yep, of course. I knew it as soon as I said that. So do I need it to hit this door? Oh, Barry. Aw, oh, shit. Alright, let's try it. Run. Oh. Oh. oh, we made it. Oh. We made it. Whew. Something's going to happen, isn't it? Of course, I have to go through a hedge maze without a light. Oh, okay. Huh? Oh, that, that's nothing. What the fuck do you think I'm trying to do? Maybe if you could open a gate, Barry. Oh, okay. So that door was real. And there's gonna be something in here. Uh, of course. I hear you, you son of a bitch. Oh, a, a manuscript. The Viking paraphernalia that littered the area surrounding the Viking centerpiece. A full size stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. You never know. Shut up, Barry. Oh, fuck. the right way is this I don't fucking know uh, what 
was a Hartman. You're a uh, fucking crows. Ow. How these f Oh, I do have a fucking flare. Oh, and I'm dead anyway, doesn't even matter. So we have a flare. Oh, we got him. <sighs> yeah, take that. Oh, a flare gun. Alright. Oh, shit. Well, 